Internal Reflections on Global Actions The milky canvas is placed on the center of the stage. Mis ojos van lejos, nada se cruza en su mirada. It is delicately lit to create an atmosphere of expectation. Solo mi sombra que da la luna, oscura como mi soledad. Llévame por un sendero en donde un atajo me It is suspended on folkloric music from Chile only because this is the thin country of the southern hemisphere that marked the birthplace of the lady with the colors. Yes, that's me. I come from very, very far. Well, just the same as many of you. We come from such different places and families and beliefs. And many of us have gone everywhere. I bet they, that if we combine our footsteps, we might have walked for half the world. And it's funny, I've met many faces here. And I know a few a little more. But it doesn't matter how well I could think I know some of you. I might never know exactly where you came from. Isn't that intriguing? Our countries determine so much of what we are and so much of what we do. And this all just makes me wonder if I know where I came from. I like my country. That has made me be interested in its history and culture. I know the folkloric dances and songs. I know I love Chile and its Chileans. But where do I really come from? Did Chile really define me as me? And more importantly, define what I do? Maybe I should think back about my ancestors. They took very racist actions against the Mapuche, an indigenous people from Chile. They felt so threatened by them that they used to marry between cousins so that they wouldn't get mixed with the Indians. I bet they had their reasons. I bet that they believed that they were good ones. But do I want to honor my roots by following their footsteps? I guess not. Although, it wouldn't be hard. 
There's still so much hatred and indifference in my family and in my country. Did it define what I am and what I do? Mm -mm, nuh uh. It definitely defined that I didn't want to behave like that. So I guess in some aspect it did. sense of belonging to a country, to a family, to a sports team, to a group of friends, sometimes makes us forget about the fact that we are all human and makes us commit all kinds of atrocities towards others, other humans. And it even makes us be indifferent, as if what happened to you didn't affect me at all. And does it? Do you define me as me? I know I can be very good at being indifferent sometimes, thinking no one could influence me. But I might be fooling myself into believing that that lack of action doesn't produce an effect, especially in the people that are living next to me, the ones that I've chosen were going to affect me the most. We naturally have these interactions and they can make us grow for good or for bad. And we contribute to someone else's life in doing the same. So we have to be aware that we can choose in which way someone's actions are going to affect us. Because we can choose that. that I know are the fish decisions define us, which mean our thoughts define us. They inform because they can clearly make us act. To buy something, to walk that way, to eat that and not that, to talk about this and that, to spend time dreaming about all of this or remembering all of that. Our thoughts can make us do everything or do nothing. And as time goes by, you can learn how to control these thoughts sometimes. Control them in crazy or healthy ways. This is the only thing that differentiates us. I mean, the basic things that define me as me and define you as you remain the same. We share the same DNA. We have ancestors. We see in the same color spectrum. We do things with our time. People in love feel similar, near or far. We're from the same species. Quisiera yo tener tan solo un poco de fe para poder así creer un poquito. And this species has a large brain relative to its body size. And this is something important that distinguishes from the rest of the animals. We can choose what to learn 
And we can choose if we want to learn or not. Because it's in our very large brain where it all begins. Our thoughts and decisions will create our behavior. Our good actions and bad actions, our active and passive actions. The filled with pride actions. Actions have a difference. And kindness. Laziness. Peace. And love. And, and if we analyze some of these thoughts, some are more powerful than others. And that is something we can choose. The power they have. of our actions. And there's another thing. You know when you find a destination you like, it's stuck in your head like you'd like to be there? Like right now. And you just want to buy a plane ticket and directly go to that place with no layovers. You know that destination you want to go. And it's somewhat harder to figure out that destination in life. The destination. Sometimes it's hard to realize that a destination we've chosen is not good for us. But what if we're already flying there? De tu libertad y regresa pronto que tu árbol se seca esperando solo que le hables de ti. What do we do? Well, we can reward mission and turn the plane around or complete the flight and Cuéntame take another one. Sobre tus viajes en cartas de estrellas. There are solutions. Que lugar lejos de aquí. Dramatic ones, but no one will die. Probably. The thing is that as we take these flights, we go learning where are the best places to go and the places we should go. And not less important, we'll learn which kind of transportation we want to use to take there, to get there. These things define our thoughts. Some, somehow. Therefore, our actions. over our bodies and impulses define us in different amounts. But we also can define them by spending time in thinking how are they influencing me? Where do I want to go with them? 
Me do te amar bem, fora de mim. And if I know where I want to go, Martin Luther King said, Rarely do we find men who willingly engage in hard, solid thinking. There is an almost universal quest for easy answers and half baked solutions. Nothing pains some people more than having a deep thing. Don't get tired of thinking and reflecting of how to do better, how to be better in this world that we all share. Because the most powerful tool we have to improve our species lies inside of our head. As, as I will finish my, my painting, we will put it outside and I want you to help me finish the painting. I share with you my reflections on internal, um, my internal reflections on global actions and I want you to also write it. I will have uh, markers and you can fill out the, the, the sky with them, okay? So help me finish the painting. Thank you very much. <laughs>